Today I'll show you how to root any Motorola phone without using a PC. Yes, you heard that right. By the end of this video you'll be able to unlock the bootloader and root any Motorola phone. All without a computer. You don't need ADB fastboot on a computer or any complicated setups. Everything will be done directly from your phone using just a few essential apps and a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. Before we begin, here's what you'll need. An Android phone to execute fast boot commands. The Motorola phone you want to root. The phone's firmware, I'll show you how to download it later in the video. A USB Type-C to Type-C cable. In this demonstration, I'm using a Moto Edge 40, but after watching this video you will be able to root any Moto phone. My Moto Edge 40, running the latest available OS, Android 14. First, enable developer options by tapping multiple times on the build number. Once enabled, navigate to system settings, then developer options, and turn on OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Next, reboot your phone into fast boot mode by holding the volume down and power buttons together. Once your phone is in fast boot mode, set it aside and grab your secondary phone. On this second phone, download Bug Jaeger and Magix from the links in the video description. Now open Motorola's official bootloader unlocking site, link in the description. You need to log in in this site to request bootloader unlock key. Once logged in, you'll see a page displaying bootloader unlocking procedure and fast boot command that retrieves a unique unlock data string from your phone. Copy this fast boot command from the site, then open the Bug Jaeger app and navigate to the fast boot section. Connect both phones using the USB Type-C to Type-C cable. If you see a dialog box in the Buck Jaeger app, tap OK. Once your phone is connected in fastboot mode, tap the shell button to open the terminal. Normally we would run fastboot devices to verify the connection, but this command doesn't work in Bug Jaeger. Instead, paste the unlock data string command directly. You'll now see a unique unlock key for your phone. Manually copying will not work in this app. So share it and then copy it from there. Paste the key into a text editor. I'm using Google Docs. Now we need to clean this unlock data string to make it compatible with Motorola's site. Remove all bootloader info and extra spaces, merging the five lines into a single continuous string. Once cleaned, copy the entire string and go back to the Motorola bootloader unlocking site. Scroll down, paste the unlock data in the text field and click, Can my device be unlocked? If your device is unlockable, you'll see a button to request unlock key after agreeing to Motorola's terms. If your device isn't eligible, you'll see a message stating, Your device does not qualify. Submit the request by pressing this button. Once you submit the request, Motorola will email you the unlock key. This can take up to seven days, but in some cases it arrives instantly, just like they share me in real time. Once you receive the email, open it and copy the unlock key. And click on here button. It will take you to the Moto site again. Scroll down and find the Fastboot OEM unlock command on Motorola's website. Copy this command. Now, open the Bug Jaeger app again and paste this command into the terminal. Replace the placeholder unlock key with the actual key you received in the mail. And execute this command to unlock the bootloader. After executing the command, you'll see a warning on your Motorola phone about unlocking the bootloader. Use the volume buttons to navigate and select Unlock Bootloader. Then confirm with the power button. Once done, Fastboot will display flashing unlocked, which means your bootloader is now unlocked. After unlocking bootloader, our next task is to root this device. To root your phone, you'll need a boot image specific to your device. I already have mine ready, but let's go over how to obtain it. To get the boot image, you need to download your phone's firmware. Visit mirrors.lolanet.com. 
Then go to Firmwares, then Linamola, to find the firmware for your device. It is difficult to find firmware manually. Instead, open the About Phone section on your Motorola device, scroll down, and copy the build number from there, and note the software channel version. Now, search for your build number on the website. You'll see multiple firmware versions. Make sure you select the one that matches both your build number and software channel. For example, my channel is Retin, which stands for Retail India. If your channel isn't listed, you can download the global firmware, which has a G in the channel name. Please ensure you download the correct firmware for your device. Using the wrong firmware could potentially render your phone unusable. Once downloaded, open the firmware file using any file explorer and extract the boot image in flashfile.xml from it. Now, open the flashfile.xml in a text editor and search for boot. If the boot.img file appears in a single slot, you can patch it directly. But if it appears in both slots, you'll need to flash it in both using specific commands. Some devices use a NIT underscore boot file instead of boot image. If your firmware contains a NIT underscore boot file, then you'll need to patch that instead. Now let's patch the boot image. Open the Magisk app on your second phone, tap Install, and select Patch a File. Choose the boot image file that we extracted earlier. Once the patching is complete, Magix will save the patch boot image in the download folder. This is the patched boot image file. Move this file to your working directory. Next, open the Bujager app again. Go to Fast Boot Shell and type the command Fast Boot Flash Boots. Then, attach the patched boot image from the file manager. Hit Run. If you encounter an error, don't worry, we'll flash it using Fastboot D mode. Type Fastboot Reboot Fastboot. This will reboot your phone into Fastboot D mode. Once in Fastboot D mode, rerun the flash boot command, and this time, the patched boot image will flash successfully. As you can see, patched boot image is flashed successfully. Reboot your phone by pressing the power button from Fast Boot D mode. On first boot, your phone may take longer to start since it's been reset. Once it's up and running, complete the initial setup. You'll now see a Magic placeholder in your app drawer. Tap it, and it will download the latest version of Magic. Once downloaded, open Magisk again. And if Magisk prompts you to reboot, tap OK. After rebooting, open Magisk again, and this time, you'll see that your device is successfully rooted. Let's verify it using the Root Checker app. And there you have it, we successfully rooted a Motorola phone without using a PC. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next one.